Hi everyone, my name is Anthony and I live outside. Been living outside for three years and this is the area where I camp. Uh, I call it camping, not living usually. And uh, there is the train up there and the highway down there. The bridge and some vacant land. And I came to this area about three years ago, set up camp here. Uh, the area where the camp is, is filled of uh, broken sidewalk type rocks everywhere. Trees and uh, very impassable. It is not the most hospitable place you could find, but it is the spot I chose it, uh, chose to camp on. And part of the reason I chose this spot it be, is because it is uh, inhospitable. Uh, therefore, I get very few visitors around here. Uh, trying to make my way to the campsite right now, being very careful. And um, when I came here, I was actually camping on the other side of the river for about six months. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, we're approaching the campsite right now. And uh, there it is. Uh, that's my camp and it has been for three years and uh, trying to make my way over there safely. Now, before I show you the, the campsite, which is right there, I'm going to show you uh, the rest of the uh, area here. Uh, and then we'll come back to this. When I first came here three years ago, I was camping across the, uh, the river on the other side. And I'll make my way over there so I can show you the river. On the other side. And... Um, I was there for about uh, six months or so and fall came and I decided uh, it was too open I needed someplace more secluded so I looked around and I found this spot there's the river down there and that's the old spot the old campsite now I'm over here I'm looking around I'm looking for a place that uh, is flat or relatively flat that I can set up camp on I and the only place I found in this whole area was this spot right here the flat land here is about four feet wide it's about uh, 12 feet long and it is uh, has uh, trees on all sides so unless you want to cut some trees down that's how, and move some rocks that's all the flat land you've got so I decided I wasn't gonna cut any trees down and I wasn't gonna try to move any rocks and uh, I I decided to make the best of what I have here. The first thing I did when I came here was I put uh, four skids down on the floor and the skids allow me to be above the ground uh, for winter uh, it's, and obviously for uh, snow, rain, runoff, melt off, water, uh, nothing gets wet in here. Uh, so there the first thing I have going here is seclusion I'm all up here all by myself I don't get disturbed the second thing I have going for me is that I uh, do have a little bit of a part-time job I do make money so that allows me to get the third thing I got going for me the third thing I got going for me is right there which is uh, propane uh, I have a couple of propane tanks and I also have a bucket and the bucket is for the washroom and uh, it's right there I have uh, everything is covered in snow and I have some um, dresser outside as I said before the campsite was built on top of four skids and three of them make up the uh, campsite dwelling the fourth one is a landing pad that I'm standing on right now and there's a front door it's a uh, uh, plastic corrugated kind of uh, a sign that they use for voting and there's also a door that I cut and that's the front door 
we're gonna go inside the campsite actually before I go in have a look at it it's all covered in snow uh, on all sides they say snow is a good insulator so I'm gonna have lots of insulation in here today uh, there are two uh, tarps here there is a uh, green tarp and a brown tarp that makes up the roof and uh, mostly plywood made out of plywood originally it was all uh, cardboard and uh, other materials uh, but eventually as I uh, get more material uh, I change and it is now plywood uh, on the floor I have uh, two layers of this plastic mat actually it's a rubber rubber mat there's a blue one and below that is the red one it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle mat it's almost uh, a half an inch thick so I've got an inch of that padding uh, insulation on the bottom as you saw already I already ha I have the uh, propane outside I've got shelves on one wall with all my uh, groceries that the animals can't get into bottles and cans uh, stuff in like rice in hard containers uh, all kinds of shelving on the inside on the other side I have hooks uh, so I can hang my coat and whatever uh, there's a look at my mattress it is a, a nice thick foam uh, mattress and that gives me a lot of comfort in there for sleeping uh, all of the shelving is hung off the ceiling including uh, the uh, cooking area the cooking area the shelving in that area I'm gonna move inside the shelving in the cooking area is made from metal and stone including some uh, marble I've got some slate up top uh, metal marble slate I've got a couple of coolers down there with uh, stuff that uh, to keep away from the animals food all kinds of dishes all kinds of cooking gear uh, I've got a trunk at the back with all my clean clothes with a padded top for my seat uh, I've got a, uh, a vent a window at the back that has the same carpeting on it and there's the outside uh, I've got some shelving with blankets and uh, I've got a quality uh, sleeping bag that sleeping bag cost me about a hundred dollars it's rated minus 20 keeps me very warm dry and comfortable I've got a clock I am gonna turn the stove on right now and uh, get some uh, get some heating in here if I can get yeah there we go there's the uh, the stove got a two burner stove on the inside and um, uh, I have the venting on the top I, I sealed it up with some plastic bags right now but uh, uh, the, the the top has venting all kinds of venting in here, so I don't asphyxiate myself with this carbon monoxide I've got uh, shelving on this wall uh, With all my uh, cooking stuff my cutlery all kinds of stuff everything organized all together uh, but really keep in mind that this is a uh, a campsite that is built from garbage stuff that people have thrown away have a look at the ceiling you'll see all kinds of uh, signs that uh, used for voting a couple of lights up there uh, and that's how I uh, I did it here I found a spot that's uh, not exactly welcoming and hospitable uh, with all the rocks around here and uh, I found a depression in the depression I put the skids down the rocks act as a windbreaker now and everything works really well when I put the mattress down on the floor the entire floor space is taken up and uh, I'm in my sleeping bag I'm very dry very warm very comfortable I've been doing this for three years and um, uh, no problems at all uh, 
with respect to keeping warm. In fact, uh, in my opinion, winter is a better uh, time for uh, doing this kind of thing outside. Uh, I don't have bugs. My beer is cold. Uh, my food can stay uh, for days, uh, just like in the fridge. Uh, there, the snow is out there. I can melt the snow and make water, wash dishes, wash myself up, brush my teeth, all kinds of stuff uh, that, that is much more difficult in the summer. So uh, winter camping is, uh, is uh, something that uh, is not any more difficult than, than it is summer. Uh, I've been here for three years and uh, it's been a great experience. I uh, wish I had done it sooner in my youth. Uh, but anyway, I'm doing it now and it's, uh, it's a great experience. I enjoy it. Uh, I've done a great job of turning this uh, most inhospitable place into a, a, a zone, a very small pocket of uh, reasonable comfort. I also have, incidentally, I forgot to show you this one, I have a battery. It is a uh, inverter with uh, a light and uh, electrical supply that I can, if I can turn the light on, yeah, there it is, uh, I can charge my phone. I can, uh, basically that will run for about a month until I have to take it uh, somewhere and get it recharged uh, for another month. And that's how I do it camping. It's been uh, three years. It's been a great experience. Um, not, no, no complaints at all. And uh, I thank you for watching my uh, video on uh, February 13 in Toronto in the middle of winter, camping outside and doing it in relative comfort. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.